Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang measure of line segments. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang measure of line segments. So, meron akong previous video about undefined terms kung saan diniscuss natin yung three undefined terms in geometry such as the point, the line, and the plane. So, ngayon, isididiscuss naman natin itong measure of line segments. So, actually, itong line segments is a portion ng line. So, kasi yung line has infinite length, right? So, hindi natin siya mamamessure. So, kapag line segment, portion lang siya ng line kung saan describe siya by the two endpoints doon sa line. So, pag kinunek natin yung two endpoints doon sa line, makakabuo tayo ng line segment. At dahil may endpoints itong line segments, therefore, masusukat natin yung measure niya. Okay? So, meron tayong line segment dito. So, sabi, the measure of the length of the line segment from point A to point B is the distance between the two endpoints. So, meron tayong two points, A at B. Pag kinunek natin ito, magkakaroon tayo ng line segment AB. So, yung symbol natin or yung notation natin for line segment is isusulat natin yung dalawang letter na, in na involved doon sa line segment, yung endpoints A tsaka B. Then, lalagyan nyo lang ng linya sa taas. Okay? Unlike sa line, na sinusulat natin like this, right? So, kapag line segments, ito yung notation natin. So, sabi yung length down itong line segment AB is the distance from A to B. So, kapag sinukat natin yung distance nitong point A to point B, yun ang magiging length niya, which makes sense, right? So, meron ako ditong ruler A tsaka ruler B. So, yung ruler A, nilagay ko yung zero position niya dito sa point A at hanggang makuha natin dito sa length 9 yung position ni point B. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinukat natin, ang, ang length pala ni segment AB is 0 to 9, meaning 9 units. Okay. Na meron din akong another ruler B. This time, nag-start naman ako sa measurement niya at 1 dun sa point A. And then, hanggang mapunta yung ruler dito sa point B which is nasa 10 units na. So therefore, dapat same pa rin na 9, right? So pag ginawa natin yung measurement, minus lang natin yung 10, minus 1, 9 unit pa rin. Or pag binilang nyo from 1 to 10, that's 9 unit also. Okay? So ibig sabihin... Kapag meron tayong line segment AB or any line segment, meron siyang fixed length. Unique yung length niya. At hindi nagmamatter kung paano natin siya susukatin. So, halimbawa dito sa ruler A, nag-assign tayo ng starting point na 0 sa, sa ruler yung A and then end point na 9 yung B. And then sa ruler B, nag-start naman tayo sa 1 for point A at nag-end sa 10 for point B. So, kahit ano yung position ng ruler, ibig sabihin, same pa rin yung magiging length. Which is, it is actually a postulate. So, tinatawag siyang ruler postulate. So, sabi, the points of a line can be matched with a set of real numbers in a way that 1, to every point on the line, there is exactly one real number. 2, to every real number, there is exactly one point on the line. And three, the distance between any two points is the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. So for the formula, generally, if the coordinate of P is X and the coordinate of Q is Y, then the distance between them can be solved using PQ is equal to absolute value of Y minus X. Okay, so kung meron nga tayong point, dapat meron din tayong unique number na mag-describe sa kanya. So tulad dito sa ruler, So, meron tayong point A, yung number or yung coordinate na describe sa kanya is itong 0. And then, yung point B, yung number na nag-describe sa kanya is itong 9. So, unique sila, right? Same as, kung gumamit naman tayo ng ruler B, this time, in-assign naman natin for point A is 1, yun yung coordinate niya, and for point B is 10. So, laging unique. Okay? And then, para nga makuha natin yung length ng segment, let's say dun sa AB, let's say yung Uh, point A natin na consider is 0 for ruler A, right? And then for point B, 9. So, using this formula, the length of segment PQ, absolute value of 5 minus X. So, so, for P daw, 
the coordinate is x and for q the coordinate is y. So, ma minus natin yung coordinate ni q na y minus yung coordinate ni p na x and then absolute value nun para makuha yung length ni pq. So, same lang din dito. So, ab now is equal to absolute value nung coordinate ni b na 9 minus absolute value nung coordinate ni a na 0. So, 9 minus 0 is absolute value of 9 or still 9. So, same kung yung point A naman natin this time is 1, tapos yung point B naman natin is 10. So, we have point A as 1 and point B as 10. So, the length of AB will be absolute value of 10 minus 1 or 9, absolute value is still 9. Okay? So, applying the ruler postulate, kung meron tayong number line dito, pwede tayong magkaroon ng unique point with a unique number line. So, pwede akong mag-assign, let's say, dito sa uh, coordinate na negative 1, let's say, point A, and then coordinate na 5, let's say, point B. So, for every point A at B, dapat unique lang yung coordinate nila. So, magkaiba sila, right? Si A is negative 1 and si B is 5. So, para makuha naman natin yung length ni AB, so, subtract natin yung coordinate ni B, which is 5, minus coordinate ni A na negative 1, absolute value nun. So, absolute value of 5 minus negative 1 or 5 plus 1 or absolute value of 6 is 6. So, pag pinahanap naman yung length BA, so, binalagdad ko lang yung letter, ibig sabihin, ang formula is absolute value this time, yung coordinate ni A na negative 1 minus yung coordinate ni B na 5. So, equal siya sa absolute value of negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Or, absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So, same lang. Right? Next, let's have some definition. So, let's have the distance. So, distance is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of two endpoints. Okay, so, na nga. So, for example, meron ako ditong two points na P at Q with coordinate 5 at 11. So, meron tayong segment PQ. So, yung absolute value nung difference nung coordinates nung two endpoints nila, yun yung magiging length nitong segment PQ. So, absolute value of, so, coordinate ni Q is 11 minus coordinate ni P is 5 is equal to absolute value of 6 or 6. Or pwede rin, pagbalik ta rin nyo, QP naman, Absolute value of this time, 5 minus 11 equal absolute value of negative 6 still 6. Okay? Next, coordinate the number that corresponds to a point. Okay, so yun nga. Kung meron tayong point, then kapag nilagay natin siya sa number line, yung number na nagdi-describe doon sa point, siya yung coordinate. So, for example, itong point A, ang coordinate niya is 2. Itong point B, ang coordinate niya is 5. Okay? Next, betweenness. Point B is between A and C if A points A, B, and C are collinear and B, A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So, masasabi daw na itong B is pumapagit na doon sa point A at C kung meron tayong two conditions. Yung una is points A, B, and C are collinear. So, ibig sabihin ng collinear, base dun sa previous video ko, naglalay lang sila sa iisang linya. Okay? And then, for B, A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So, for example, meron ako ditong number line. So, obviously, lahat ng nalagay ko ditong point is collinear kasi isang line lang tayo. Kung naglagay ako dito ng point A, B, at C, so, therefore, satisfy na yung A, collinear sila. For B naman, kung A, B plus B, C daw equals A, C, then, then that completes the requirement of betweenness. So, kasi, kapag in natin itong distance ni A to B, Tapos, yung distance ni B to C, obviously, same lang din siya dito sa distance from A to C. Given na in between siya ni AC. For example, ano yung distance nitong AB? So, 2 minus 1 is equal to what? 2. Si BC, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, pag in natin, AB plus BC, 2 plus 4 is 6, right? Take note, kapag kinuha natin yung length from A to C, yung coordinate ni C is 6, then yung coordinate ni A is 0, so 6 minus 0 is also 6. So therefore, B is in between A at C kasi nasatisfy nga yung dalawang condition. Okay? Next, we have the midpoint. So sabi, point B is the midpoint of AC if 
two conditions A, AB plus BC equals AC, and B, AB equals BC. So, kapag midpoint, ibig sabihin, gitna doon sa dalawang point. So, sabi dapat daw, para maging midpoint si B to sa AC, halimbawa itong figure, dapat AB plus BC is equal to AC. So, para doon sa condition ni betweenness yung part B, which is dapat ganun, di ba? So, for B, AB naman is equal to BC. So, dahil nga midpoint siya, hinahati niya sa gitna yung AC. So, dapat equal yung AB sa BC, right? Which makes sense. So, for example, dito, so yung segment AC, ano siya? 10 minus 0 is 10. Ano yung segment AB? 5 minus 0 is 5. So, AB plus, ano yung segment BC? 10 minus 5 is also 5. So, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So, nasatisfy yung A. And then, for B, AB is equal to BC kasi pareho silang 5. So, therefore, B is the midpoint of AC. Okay? Next, segment by sector. So, a segment ray or a line that contains the midpoint. Okay, so, from the word itself, by sector, ibig sabihin, pwede raw siyang ray, line, or segment na nagbabisek sa line segment. So, meron ako dito ang tatlong example. So, meron so, ako dito ang same line segment AC. Tapos, meron akong iba't ibang nagbabisek sa kanya. Merong line, merong ray, tsaka merong segment. So, ito yung symbol natin for uh, equal length. Yung magsusulat kayo ng same number ng line. So, ibig sabihin, equal yung segment AB sa segment BC. Pwede rin isa lang. Okay? So, same lang din yon. As long as paraw sila ng number ng linya, ibig sabihin, sila yung magkaparaw ng sukat kapag kinoconsider natin sila sa geometry. Okay? So, since paraw yung AB natin at BC at binaisek sila nitong line L nag-pass through the midpoint B, line L is a segment bisector. Same as, dito naman, yung segment DE naman yung nag-bisect, nagkocontain siya ng midpoint na B, segment DE is a segment bisector of AC. And last, eto naman, ray BD, nagkocontain siya ng midpoint ng AC na B, so therefore, ray BD is the bisector of AC. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung different concepts at formula for measure of line segments, ay mag-sell tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have, using the number line, plot the following points as described. So, meron tayong number line dito. So, meron tayong initial two points. Itong point T, tsaka point O. Yung point T, yung coordinate niya is negative 2. And yung point O, yung coordinate niya is 6. So, let's start with A. Plot L daw if point L is 4 units to the right of T. So, ibig sabihin, yung L daw is to the right of T, so nandito yung side siya. Tapos, 4 units. So, ibig sabihin, nagbilang tayo ng 4 na unit from point T. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dapat nandito siya sa 2. Or, kung 4 units siya to the right of T, so, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung coordinate ni L, let's say Y, minus yung coordinate ni T na negative 2 equal dapat yan sa length na 4. So, solving for this equation, y plus 2 is equal to 4, y is equal to transpose 4 minus 2, or y is equal to 2. So, therefore, y is 2 or it is the coordinate of L. Okay? Next, plot v if LV is equal to 7 and v is to the right of T. Okay, so this time, meron tayong given length na LV daw dapat is 7, tapos V is to the right of T. So, expect natin na papunta siya dito. Kasi to the right of T. So, kung magsisimula tayo sa point L, kasi LV yung given length, right? So, ibig sabihin, nandito na siya sa right ng L. Kasi kapag nandito siya sa left ng L, kung i-consider natin yung magiging length niya, mapupunta siya dito sa to the left of V. Kasi 7 units yung LV, eh, eh yung TL. 4 units lang. So, lalagpas siya dito sa T. So, dapat nandito si V. Right? Sa to the right ng L. So, ganun pa rin. Pwede kami magbilang ng 7 units mula dun sa coordinate ni L na 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, nasa 9. So, ito si V. Or, same pa rin. Y minus coordinate ni L na 2 equal 7. Or, Y is equal to transpose 7 plus 2, so 9. So, therefore, 9 yung coordinate ni V. Okay? Next, plot R if TL is equal to RT. 
So, alam natin na si TL is for units, right? And then, RT, hanapin natin kung saan malolocate si R. So, obviously, to the left na siya nung T. Kasi kapag to the right, hindi na siya mag equal sa TL. So, ibig sabihin, for units to the left, yung bibilangin natin para makuha si R. So, from negative 2 to the left, bilang tayo 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 6. Okay? Or, using algebra, let's say, ano naman X yung coordinate ni R. So, so dahil to the left siya ni T, dapat negative 2 minus X is equal to 4. So, solving for X, so transpose ko si X dito, transpose ko si 4 dito, negative 2 minus 4 is equal to X, or X is equal to negative 6. So, same lang, right? Okay, next. Plot C if CR plus RT equals 10, where C is to the left of T. So, this time, meron tayong CR plus RT is equal to 10. So, alam natin na yung RT is kanina, 4 units na, right? And then, itong CR, dapat, kapag kinuha natin yung length ni CR, magto-total sila ni RT sa 10. Kasi, given itong condition. So, kung yung RT na natin is 4, ilan pa si CR para total of 10? 6. Or 10 minus 4, right? 6. So, dapat 6 units si CR. So, saan siya? To the right or to the left ni R? Si C. So, meron tayong isang condition, C is to the left of T. So, ibig sabihin, to the left siya ng T, at the same time, dapat to the left na rin siya ni R para ma-apply natin yung betweenness, right? So, therefore, bibilang tayo ng 6 units to the left of R from the coordinate nga na negative 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dito sa negative 12. Or using algebra, apply nyo yung formula for length of a segment. As plot E, if OE is 1 unit less than TO and E is to the right of V. So, OE daw is 1 unit less than TO. So, ano ba yung uh, segment TO? Ano yung length niya? So, yung T is negative 2, tapos yung O is 6. Ano yung segment TO? Ano yung length niya? So, 6 minus negative 2, right? 6 so, minus negative 2 or absolute value niyan is absolute value of 8. So, 6 plus 2 is 8 or 8. So, 8 units si TO. Pero si OE daw dapat 1 unit less. So, sabihin mo sa baba siya ng 1 unit, 7 lang siya. Tapos, E is to the right of V. So, dapat to the right daw ng V. So, ibig sabihin, magsisimula tayo dito sa point O sa coordinate 6 at magbibilang tayo ng 7 units. So, from 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, therefore, E is at coordinate 13. Okay? Next, we have number 2. Point L, S, D are collinear such that L, S is equal to 4 and S, D is equal to 9 and L, D is equal to 13. Find the coordinates of L and D when the coordinate of S is 7 if A, the coordinate of D is greater than the coordinate of S and B, the coordinate of D is less than the coordinate of S. So, obviously, itong problem 2, ma-apply natin yung betweenness. So, meron tayong 3 points, okay? So, let's say, meron tayong LSD. So, sabi, LS is 4, SD is 9, and LD is 13. So, obviously, dahil collinear sila, at pag in natin yung LS plus SD, which is 4 plus 9 is 13, equal siya sa length LD, which is also 13, yung S is in between L at D. Remember yung requirement for between na sa taas kanina, right? So, therefore, in between si S nung segment L tsaka D. So, yung tanong, ano raw yung coordinate ni L at D kung S is 7? So, S is 7 given. So, meron tayong condition A. The coordinate of D is greater than the coordinate of S. So, hindi kasi tayo sure kung nandito ba si L or nandito ba si D or Pwede rin baliktad, nandito si D or nandito si L. So, kapag ginamit natin yung condition A, the coordinate of D is greater than the coordinate of S. So, ibig sabihin, kung greater than yung D sa coordinate ni S, saan dapat si D? To the right or to the left ni S? To the right ni S. Kasi nga, greater than yung coordinate ni D sa S. ba sa number line, habang papunta ka sa kanan, pataas, habang papunta ka sa kaliwa, pababa. Okay? So, therefore, obviously, ito na si L. Right? So, ngayon, apply natin ngayon to yung LS daw is 4. So, kung yung LS is 4, let's say, unknown si X, yung coordinate ni L. 
applying yung formula for length. So, the coordinate of S, 7 minus the coordinate of, of L na X dapat equal sa length na 4. So, therefore, solving for X, transpose sa kabila sa X and transpose for sa kabila, 7 minus 4 is equal to X or X is equal to 3. So, 3 si L. And then, kapag naman si D, so SD is 9. So, length SD is 9. So, let's say Y naman yung coordinate ni D. Unknown. Apply uli yung formula for length of a line segment. So, Y minus 7 equal dapat sa 9. So, solving for Y, Y is equal to transpose si 7, 9 plus 7, Y is 16. So, therefore, D is 16. That's for A. Paano, ka ma paano naman kung B? This time, the condition is the coordinate of D is less than the coordinate of S. So, pagbabalik na rin lang natin yung position ni L tsaka ni D. Kasi, less na ngayon si D sa S. So, nandito na si D, nandito na si L, tapos si S, same pa rin na at 7. So, same pa rin yung length, right? So, si SD is 9. So, this time, let's say X naman si D. So, to solve for X, we have 7 minus X is equal to 9. Transpose si x, transpose si 9, 7 minus 9 is equal to x. So, x is equal to 7 minus 9 is negative 2. So, negative 2 si d. And then, for length ls naman, so, far pa rin dapat siya, right? So, let's have y naman for the coordinate of l. So, hanapin natin si y. Formula, y minus 7 is equal to 4. Transpose si 7, y is equal to 4 plus 7 or 11. So, therefore... L is 11. So, dapat yung total length ni LD is 13. So, try nyo for both A at B. So, dito muna sa A. So, anong length ni LD? 16 coordinate ni D minus 3 coordinate ni L. So, 16 minus 3 is 13. So, tama, right? Pasa dun sa given, LD is 13. Same dito sa B. So, 11 minus negative 2 is 13. Okay, so therefore, tama yung coordinates natin. Next, we have point B is the midpoint of AC. The coordinate of B is 3 and is less than the coordinate of C. Find the coordinates of points A and C if BC is equal to 8. Okay, so this time, mayroon naman tayong points B at A at C. So, B daw is the midpoint. Okay, tapos the coordinate of B is 3. So, less than din daw siya sa coordinate ni C. So, ito si B. So, dahil less than siya sa coordinate ni C, saan dapat si C? To the left or to the right ni B? Dito sa, to the right niya. Okay? Kasi greater than si C sa B. Now, find the coordinates of points A and C if BC is 8. So, BC daw is 8. Okay? So, dapat automatic nandito na si A. Right? So, assign tayo ng variable for the coordinates of A at C. So, X si A, Y si C. So, dito muna tayo sa, sa coordinate ni C na Y. So, formula, coordinate ni C na Y minus coordinate ni B na 3 dapat equal to 8. So, transpose si 3, Y is equal to 8 plus 3 or 11. Okay? So, dahil midpoint si B dito sa segment AC, dapat itong AB is equal sa BC na 8 din. So, dapat AB is 8 din. So, applying the formula for the length of segment AB this time, coordinate ni B na 3 minus coordinate ni A na X equal dapat sa 8. So, transpose si X, transpose si 8. 3 minus 8 is equal to positive X. X is equal to negative 5. Okay. So, therefore, the coordinate of A is negative 5 and the coordinate of C is 11. Next, we have, given the figure below, find the length of x, y, and y, z. So, meron tayong a at b. So, dito muna tayo sa a. So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong points x, y, at z. Collinear sila, right? Naglalay sila sa isang line segment. Tapos, y is in between the segment x, z. So, meron tayong variable dito para sa length. So, yung x, y is etong x plus 1. Tapos, itong yz is itong x plus 5. Tapos, yung total length ni xz is 12. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung betweenness, right? So, xy plus yz dapat equal siya sa xz. 
So, gawa tayo ng equation. So, substitute natin yung leg ni xy tsaka yz in terms of x. So, xy is x plus 1 plus yz is x plus 5 equal to xz na 12. So, lagunan natin si x. So, x plus x is 2x plus 1 plus 1 is 6 equals 12. So, 2x transpose is 6 equal 12 minus 6. 2x is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6. Divide both sides by 2. X is 6 divided by 2 or 3. So, kung makuha na natin si X na 3, tsaka natin isubstitute sa length ni XY at YZ. So, di ba sa XY is X plus 1. So, therefore, X is 3. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, si YZ, X plus 5. So, X is 3 plus 5 is 8. So, therefore, yung length ni XY is 4 at yung length ni YZ is 8. Such that, pag in natin sila, dapat equal sa 12. So, 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. So, next for B, same figure lang din sa A. So, collinear pa rin si XY at Z at Y is in between the segment XZ. Ngayon, wala tayong given length nung actual XZ. Right? Pero mayroon tayong sign dito na equal yung segment XY sa segment YZ. Kasi mayroon tayong dalawang parahong linya sa segment XY at YZ. So, base dun sa notation natin for equal lengths sa geometry, equal sila. So, ibig sabihin, kung equal sila, midpoint pala itong y. Right? So, pwede tayong bumuli ng equation kasi variable yung length ni xy tsaka ni yz. So, dahil midpoint si y nito, itong segment xz, the length of xy is equal to the length of yz. So, equate natin itong dalawang uh, length ni xy tsaka yz in terms of variable x. So, xy is 2x plus 1 equal yz is x plus 3. So, solve ulit natin si x. Transpose si x, transpose si 1. 2x minus x is equal to 3 minus 1. So, 2x minus x is x equal 3 minus 1 is 2. So, therefore, x is 2. Substitute ngayon natin dito sa length. So, si xy is 2x plus 1, right? So, 2 times x na 2 plus 1. So, 4 plus 1 or 5. So, therefore, xy is 5. So, obviously, dapat magiging 5 din si yz. So, substitute natin si x na 2 sa length niya na x plus 3. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. So, therefore, 5 din si yz. So, yung total length nung x is 5 plus 5 or 10. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, measure of line segments. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.